Hello everybody and welcome back to another week of gaming. Yes, that is right. Once again, you cannot see my beautiful face because I have still got no working webcam. However, don't you worry about that. You don't need to look at my beautiful face. So, this week I decided to play a game called Gravitas. This game is a free, free game on Steam. It was only released there about one or two days ago. But already has a lot of good positive reviews, so then to give this game a go, shall we? So let's jump on in. Input name. Okay, so small background about this game. It's kind of like some people are saying that this game's like like Portal. I've personally never really played Portal, but I know a little bit about it to know that if this is Portal, then it's just a reskin. So, Galaxy Shark Studios. Initializing what? Oh, I can't move. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Gorg. Really? I know last time I wanted, wanted to like throw litter all over the floor. Alright. Alert! New arrival detected in the main attendant requested at main body dust. Oh, have, have they arrived? <gasps> what my the? new pupil! Oh my goodness, you're so cute! Look at your tiny blank face! So happy you could come! Told you I was beautiful. She, say hello to our new pupil! Hello to our new pupil. <laughs> Thank you, she. She? Mm. The hell? Let's start over, shall we? Uh, apologies if I seem out of sorts. It's been many a month since my last pupil died. It is an <laughs> egregiously large pleasure to meet you. My name is... Is... No. Steve? Uh, no matter. Why don't you just call me the curator? God damn it. Yes, yes that makes the right body parts tingle. But, uh, but enough about me. Let us begin your journey. Welcome, my new pupil. To the gallery of refined gravity. The gallery she of refined. You silly girl. Remember how we rehearsed this? Nope. Engage the gravitas protocol. Engaging. Yes. Okay. Let's. Uh. uh she. <laughs> uh. Open the lobby door, please. Lobby door. Now function. The main door is still. <coughs> Wait. What? Nothing is wrong. Let me just get this open. You. Hmm. So, before we continue, I, I just want to see what these are. So what is this? The Fieldable Cube. The Fieldable Cube is a scientific marvel made out of love and duct tape. The hell? The most advanced cube in the gallery. You may find them in later exhibits. Be careful though, packing that much technology in a beautiful bundle makes them gorgeous but heavy. So this thing's heavy. Okay. The Wire Cube. The Wire Cube, well... Aesthetically and delightful, proved unsuitable for reg regular use in the gallery due to its delicate structure. One good hit can turn this cube into a series of thin cylinders, which are not remotely allowed in this gallery. These cubes now serve primarily as a lightweight decoration and on sunny days are very comfortable. Oh my god. I actually like the, the detail in that. It's very, very simple, but geez. Just two random. Okay, they're, they're like little water spikes. Okay, the Hollow Cube. The Hollow Cube was a prototype for creating a, a lighter, easier to move cube. However, somehow she managed to misinterpret the blueprint. And now it weighs over 14 tons. Oh, wow. Where does the extra weight come from? We just don't know. How do you do that on a Hollow Cube? And that weighs over 14 tons. Wow. You would have expected the feelable cube to wear more than that. Alright. The Crimson Cube. And I just got an achievement for looking at these. The Crimson Cube is a powerful superhero in the cube world. Searching for the villain that killed his parents and took a piece of his head as a trophy. Ugh. He is a tale of revenge and betrayal. Enhanced by the fact that he is a cube spending his life searching for a smaller cube. 
That's really nice. Don't like the fact that there's a dent in it, but that's really, really nice coloring. Okay, let's continue. Apologize if you do get like a. This unique gallery what? is an exploration into artistic expression using groundbreaking technology and cubes. The only rule is no talking ever. All right, good. She no, the elevator. I will talk. I will talk as much as I can. But anyway, like I was saying, apologize if you get motion sickness. This is legit the way that I'm moving around. All right, let's go. So to appreciate my revolutionary work here, you will need this special glove. I call it, or just interrupt me by immediately grabbing a mysterious glove that you know literally nothing about and could be filled with scorpions. <laughs> All right. Yep. She, begin the connection sequence. Integrating artistic appreciation enhancement apparatus. Thank you. Ding. Integration what? complete. All right, you should be ready. You now have very limited control over gravity. What? Use that power. Come to me. Jump this petty gap, you glorious fool! What? Urgh. What? No, no, you have to create a gravity field. Why would you just blindly... You know, it, it he told me to. Just gets you out of there. there is a fieldable surface on the ceiling, and you obviously need me to explain the controls. Now, the glove... And there you go. Now, when you do that, the glove emits energy that attempts to connect with these special glowy walls. The energy veins have nothing to do with anything. They are simply gorgeous. Oh. That's... Ready and Welcome to the Gorg achievement. Art. That's actually pretty neat. Okay, let's go. I like those doors. Okay, that was a very weird. Bathroom. Bathroom break, bathroom break. Nope. Oh, no, wrong one. That's very... These are really, really cool. And this is a free game too. Oh, good. There you are. This is the first piece of my gallery. Call this one Ascension. Ascension. Dramatic pause. Now that you have the eye, you have enough memory to store the significance of my work and free Wi Fi. Now off Ooh. you go. Rise to a higher room of artistic thought. What? Let's just keep going, shall we? So, in this first piece, I'm just going to observe you. If you don't mind, this is all for the future of the medium, you understand. I'm just putting on the glove, it's a form of consent being observed and recorded. Let us begin! Yeah. So, I think I do have to just jump down here anyway. Go up, come here. So this is literally like, kind of kind of similar to Portal a little bit. I think. I don't really know, I've never played Portal and I will say that. Let me go over here. Okay. Now that I'm over here, what do I do? Oh crap, where am I going? Nope. So. Oh yeah. I think I have to go here. For crap, no. Oh, you have just discovered the gravity field prediction function. I call those special apparitions. Ghost fields. Okay, you're still not really helping me here, buddy. You're literally just telling me what to do, but not the way I need it. There we go. Now that was quick thinking. Nothing now, huh? Oh crap. There we go. Okay. So I'm legit just going around in circles here. What is this? Ah. Uh. Oh, right, okay. That's what that is. Oh, look at you scaling that symbolism really fast. Well, but a few more years to build it, you just. That was easy. Ascend. Okay. I have to admit, this game is very easy to get a lot of achievements in. A story about a garden. 
of gravity. The garden oh, God. is quiet. A Gorg reminder. Press the right mouse button to cancel your current gravity deal. She! Holy mother of immersion! Just <laughs> engage the calming ambience! The ambience initialized. Ah, so tranquil. Traverse its valleys, search its nooks, fondle its crannies. What? Let the story begin. What story? You're being a douche to me right now. So, I don't really know where I have to be going here, by the way. There's an up. If I just have to go there, shouldn't I not just need, like... I don't know. So... I have to get through that door, I think. What? Okay. Something's telling me that I need to start... I need to get all these here, like, blocks. Right. Um... Blocks! Okay. Crap, okay. Nope. Come on. The first stone falls into the river, bringing you goals in sight by disrupting nature. No. Nope. Scaring deer and confusing the birds. This stone judges you. Okay. Gotten one. So, we do have an idea. We have to get all, well, as much of these here as we can. All those are blocks into the ground, but... It's gonna be a little bit more harder. Okay. The second stone stays neutral. It does not know you, but likes your face. The first stone judges this okay. new stone. It does this because it is insecure. There we go. Where's that next one? It's coming. And stop. Thank you very much. Next. Where's the next one? Up top. How do I get up top? I do not know. Nope. Um, that. Okay, so I've got you down here. The third stone disturbs some fish. They jump out of the water for safety and land on the shore. As they slowly die gasping, they attempt to lament the irony. However, they cannot because they are fish. After like 2.5 seconds, they forget they are dying. Wait, what? <laughs> After 2.5 seconds? That's, um... That's pretty fast. <laughs> right, next one. How do I get these top ones? How do I get these top ones? Um... Okay... So... Do I have to personally come up and get these? I think. Bring me up. Thank you. So, you... Nope. So, I need them ones. Oh. Oh. Yeah, these next ones are going to be difficult. I need to get over there. Don't know how to get over there. Hold on. Okay. That's being sneaky. Like I said, I really... I know I have to get these three down. I need at least one more. And I don't know if there's any more anywhere else. So, I just have to try and find some way of getting the last one. Which is difficult. Because I can only do that. However, there's none of those weird magnetic parts to drag it down. So even if I do that, and that's now floating, it's still not going to work. Because if I do that, it's still not going to work. Alright, come on. How am I meant to get up here? Because that's not going to work. Hmm. <laughs> Unless, hold on. Bring me back here. I bring that there. And if I can do it quickly. Where's that bring? Right here. Okay. Where's that? Right here. Bring me up here. 
And then I go across. Okay. Okay, I can't actually physically move you myself. But there's always that technique. Okay. Hey, hey. The fourth stone breaks the surface of the calm pond of your mind, creating ripples Crap. that disturb the moss of your imagination. The wavy imaginary moss distracts a deer who runs away immediately into All a right, tree. Stop right there. The fifth stone is a metaphor for distractions. Where's my fifth stone? Look, oh, there it is. Oh, crap. Okay. All right, come here. I really want to know if. Can I get that one? No, that one's actually stuck. Crap. Yes, it is. Where's the other one? Okay, there it is. Okay, stop right there. Yay! The stones have now all drowned. Tranquility. On the game for Okay, Evacuating there we go. Evacuating is now 42% recommended. Why see? We have company and also I don't care. What? Ah, little pupil friend! Now I you can die. You. I've added a few new things to this next piece to maximize your appreciation of my genius. Isn't that great? I'm so excited. Not really. Welcome to the second Go piece the of my gallery. Thank you. I call this one, Now You Can Die! Alright, we'll go have some fun. And okay. watch your step. If you like Here's your reminder. Go to the gym. Yeah, that's Alexa. I keep on. Oh, crap. So. Sadly, my friend can't really help me what? with this one. So. Oh, come now, I simply added a few solar death beams. Whee! <laughs> Wait, what? Eeeeee! <laughs> Oh, there you are. I'd like to introduce you to a friend of mine. This here is Bartholomew. He will Crap. be assisting you with this particular piece, which is good because he has neither skin nor eyes. Uh, be gentle with him, though. He's really sensitive. Okay, there we go. Clear you. Does that bring you back? Yes, it does. Okay, I think we're actually getting the hang of this. It's just this room, which is now going to be a nightmare. So, we do have to keep bringing this block with us. Main generator cooling system malfunction. Oh. Attempting I'm sorry, she repairs. has just been so Failure. desperate for attention lately. Just, just ignore her. Penguin pupil initiative. She, you will eventually need to let that go. The mastery of their abstract ice sculptures haunts me. So, I legit have to run with this, if you think about it. I have to be down here, I have to select the button to drag this across, I hope. So that goes like that, and I have to try and keep up with it. I can, I think, just stand on top of it as well. Actually, let me see if I can do that. Okay, I don't think I can no longer get back up again. Crap. Okay, let me up. I want to see if I can stand on this. And I am then going to stand right here. Hope that I can go straight across the other side. That's right. We met it! You know what I just realized? I actually hate Bartholomew. What? Oh! Joy, we have arrived at the laser ocean. To cross this perilous pool of peripheral pulchritude, you must truly understand why the mind fears death. But you also must fear death, because if you fall in, you die. What? A gourd reminder. There is no diving in the laser ocean unless a lifeguard is present. There's no point, you'd die anyway. Right, so... Yeah, after we're finished with this session, I think I'll introduce you to my penguin pupils. You would love them. They have a glorious little playground where they sculpt ice entirely with their little feet. Alert. Main generator is now on fire. 
evacuating is now 74 so, can I? Yes, I can. So, I'm going to have to end this episode here. Um, so, yeah. So far, I am enjoying this game. I really am enjoying this game. It is. It does remind me a wee bit of Portal. I have to admit. But anyway, that's all the time I have for this episode. As usual, make sure, to, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.